What the heck? Guys, this is my mom's wax thing, you know, to... <laughs> what's goody wish poppin everybody it's been a while welcome back today we're gonna talk about the coronavirus and la vacuna. For those of you who do not know what I just said, I basically said we're gonna talk about the coronavirus vaccine. So I said I was gonna do this and here I am doing it. Guys, just really quickly, I am so sorry about the wires in the background. That is my fault. I should've hit those. Super embarrassing, but nothing is ever perfect. I'm also not gonna make this video too long, guys, because I don't wanna take up too much of your time. I have other things to do as well. So here's the thing. I also wanna talk about religious beliefs and conspiracy theories because you know, there's many different reasons why people don't trust this vaccine, and a lot of them are actually quite understandable. You know, it's true, guys. The government has done very sketchy things in the past. I'm also going to be reading something off my computer, so, like, bear with me here as I, like, try to look at you guys at the same time. I recently made a poll on my Instagram story um, where I asked people, will you be getting the COVID vaccine? 70% of voters said definitely, and the rest of the 30% said they don't trust it. So, with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, if you are one of the 70% of people who voted yes to the vaccine, awesome. Stick to your plan, get the vaccine when it's distributed, you're doing the right thing. As for the 30% of the people that said they don't trust the vaccine, guys, here's the thing. Truth is, according to CNN, most people report not having any side effects from the vaccine at all. It's just like getting a regular flu shot, ladies and gentlemen. However, there are some people that may experience soreness in the areas where the shot was given. Very few people report having headaches or muscle soreness a few hours after getting the shot. But according to doctors, that usually means that the shot is working. And these side effects normally go away after a day, guys. It doesn't really get to the point where you feel like you have to stay home and take the day off of work. In other words, it's not life-threatening and it's not really threatening at all. So, yeah. When we talk about religious beliefs, guys, a lot of people out there who are spiritual or who are religious like to stick to the idea of natural and organic medicines that are distributed from the earth itself. And I am one to believe in God, guys. I, I hold very strong to my faith, but I also like to think that, you know, when it comes to scientists and doctors, I, I like to believe that God sends these people to this world to help solve problems, to help cure diseases. And, you know, that's just a thought. Maybe you guys can think about it that way as well. So when it comes to conspiracy theories, guys, so people claim that the coronavirus is made up so that the government can chip people by using the vaccine. There is no such evidence towards this. These are just conspiracy theories made up by some delusional person who was just paranoid and people were just dumb enough to follow, guys. Don't follow into these people. Trust me, this is a real pandemic. This is a real disease and the vaccine is completely safe, guys. We've seen people, we've seen people take it on TV and things like that, so... We're safe, guys. Please, I encourage you all to get the vaccine. Think about your loved ones. Think about your neighbors, your parents, your grandparents, your aunts, your uncles, your teachers, your co-workers, whoever you love, guys, your dogs and your cats, whatever. Just think about those people. Get the vaccine. And don't just get it for them. Get it for yourself, too, guys. You're putting yourself at risk by not getting the vaccine. So hopefully this video encourages people to do the right thing. Get the vaccine. Again, Nobody can force anybody to do anything, at least not in this country. Politicians are doing their part by putting rules and regulations around this vaccine to make sure it's distributed safely. Scientists have done their part by creating the vaccine. Doctors are doing their part by distributing the vaccine. Now it's up to you guys, as the people, to get the vaccine, you know, to make yourself safe and others around you safe as well. So again, guys, I highly encourage you to get this vaccine. If you don't trust it, then that's completely understandable. But hopefully this video encourages people to do the right thing, guys. I love you guys. Stay safe, stay healthy, and I will see you guys next time. This has been yours truly, Carlos Navarro.